Hey everyone, I'm back with a new video. My name is Kelsey. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I want to share with you my holy grail skincare products. Specifically about skincare products that work for me and my skin type. Just an FYI, I have combination leaning towards oily skin. Therefore, these are products that I've tested on my skin type and have worked for me. So before I get into these skincare products, I want to go over some personal makeup rules that I have for myself. Makeup rule number one, never sleep in makeup. And I know it's hard because half the time we're doing our makeup to get ready for like a night out and that's when we really beat our faces. But I make it my duty to take off all my makeup even if i don't get a hundred percent of my makeup off i try to at least get the base of my makeup off before i go to bed to remove all of my makeup i use two products so first to remove my makeup i use the urban decay meltdown makeup remover so first i purchased the travel size version of this and it was gone within three weeks but most importantly i highly recommend this product if you wear heavy duty makeup i'm talking about beat faces i feel like this product really melts down your makeup and just makes it easier to remove the rest of your makeup and for makeup wipes i usually use the neutrogena makeup removers i feel like these makeup wipes are really good if you have sensitive skin sensitive eyes out of all the makeup wipes that i've tried these are my favorite. So the second rule is to always wash my makeup brushes. I feel like if you have problematic skin and you are having breakouts and all of these things, I would evaluate what products you're using. Make sure you read the label of your foundations and powders as well as washing your makeup brushes. I just feel like it's very important to wash and cleanse your makeup brushes once or twice a week because i feel like when you're not cleaning your makeup brushes as often as you should that's when dirt makeup oil bacteria all gets built in in your makeup brushes and your beauty blenders and that's going on top of your skin which is going to cause breakouts acne and problematic skin so let's get into these skincare products in the morning i will wash and cleanse my face with the clinique foaming sonic facial soap I've tried other cleansers and they just are too strong for me. I feel like Clinique products are great if you have sensitive skin. And right after that, I like to moisturize with the Clinique's dramatically different moisturizing cream. As you can see, this jar is completely empty because it's that good. Since I ran out of the cream, I'm currently using the lotion version. I'm not sure if there's a difference between the two, but I feel like the lotion version of this cream is just a little thicker and that's something that i don't mind if you have drier skin this will be perfect for you sometimes i'll wake up and i automatically know that my skin is not going to survive the day it's going to be super oily i'll use the clinique moisture surge thirst relief cream i wouldn't say this cream is like the mario badescu drying lotion because i feel like it's still moisturizing it just absorbs the excess oils in your skin as well as hydrates it at the same time and in the morning if i have time i'll apply this clinique under eye cream i feel like when it comes to skincare like we hit all the bases except for our under eyes i feel like that's an area that's the most neglected but i feel like it's also as important as the rest of our face there's another cleanser that I love using before going to bed, and that is the Lush Dark Angels Face and Body Cleanser. Yeah, my sister, she got a sample of this when she went to Lush, and I think she just didn't like it, so she gave it to me. And I... I fell in love with the cleanser. Like, that sample was gone. That sample was completely gone. Your products are not only vegan, but handmade. This specific Dark Angel Cleanser is completely black it's like um it has like a charcoal consistency every time i wash my face with this my skin feels so soft and i think that's one of the claims up here take a small amount in your hand and a little water and mix into a paste massage into skin to gently cleanse then rinse clean use all over the body for soft skin everywhere and 
that's facts period another one of my holy grails is the mario badescu setting mist this product i just feel like it just leaves your skin feeling fresh and vibrant and all these good things it just works next i want to share with you my favorite oil and elixir this is the shea moisture overnight facial oil i've had this for like a long time because i feel like since my skin was oily i could only use it so much but every time i use it it left my skin feeling so soft when i woke up in the morning and so this is just something that i would use occasionally when i feel like I want my skin to be extra plump and popping. I'll use a facial oil. This next one is the Honey Bell Facial Oil Elixir. This elixir slash facial oil is made out of basil and grapefruit. I don't know if I use this in a video, but I also will use this particular facial oil before I apply my matte foundation. The next skincare product is the Frizz and Bubble Lip Scrub watermelon flavor and having a lip scrub is very important as well because if you're constantly putting on liquid lipsticks lip glosses lip liners that's going to take a toll on your skin and if you don't exfoliate that's going to affect how your lip products are going to look on your lips so make sure you apply lip scrub before applying your makeup and lastly I always apply a lip balm or a lip moisturizer before I go to bed I have so many lip balms and lip moisturizers I can't even find them they're around the house somewhere so the ones that I use is the ESOS lip balm so one of the lip balms that I found was this one and this is a lip balm by one of my friends she has her own makeup brand this is called image by Orlana she has her own makeup and skincare products as well so if you're interested in this lip balm I'm going to link her website down below in the description box okay everyone that is pretty much it for my holy grail skincare products I really hope you enjoyed this video learn some new things and hopefully go out and test these products for yourself and while you're already here Go ahead and watch one of my previous videos. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.